Oh, long day on the tracks. Great to set up a chair. Nice campsite. Sit down and relax. Nice and easy. Ah, oh, it's life. Mate, that's not a chair. What is that? That's a chair. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, give up. <laughs> Okay, g'day folks, welcome to, this is not a review, this is more of a comparison between swags while we were out on our last trip. I didn't have a vehicle, of course Brad was uh, towing all my stuff in his trailer and he did note that my swag was just a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than his swag and he said we should do a swag comparison. So I went, yeah okay. Um, so here we are out in the marvellous pine forest and we are going to do a swag comparison. Now I run the King's Big Daddy Deluxe Swag which you can see just behind me there. Um, it is big and it is heavy and it's only heavy because I run my sleeping bags and pillows in the swag itself. They're two things I no longer have to remember to pack in the car. They're always in the car which makes it just that slightly bit heavier. It weighs 30 kilos as it is. What are you running, Brad? I'll get out the way. Yeah, uh, it's a Dachi. It's a double D, dirty D, double D, one of them. 1400 double. double. Um, triple pole, so nice and easy, nice and light. Weighs 15 and a half kilos as it is. So half the weight of mine. Um, but having said that, I don't have sleeping bags, mattresses, um, and everything else in that. Paul Swag will forever now be known as the Taj Gunton. Because that is dead set everything in it. I had to lift that into the trailer and I damn near needed a bigger trailer. All the squeaks you'll see on the Holland track trip, it's from that. <laughs> it's apparently it's from my swag. Killing my trailer. <laughs> so, so, yes. All right, so here we are. We are going to assemble both swags. Now, this isn't a race. This is basically as if we were rocking up at camp, putting the swags up to see which one is actually easier to put up, okay? Um, and we will, we will basically time it on our phones and then we will stop and sit down as soon as we have finished the individual swag. So you ready? All good. Let's go. Now I'm not gonna make you watch us do this. I'll actually speed this up. Oh, come on, this uh, is the best action. The Light entertainment action. is more packing the swag up, apparently, <laughs> isn't it, boys? <laughs> right, let's speed up from now. Exactly the same amount of time within seconds. Okay, so there you go. Relatively the same time to put up each swag. So, no real difference there. Um, I've been running the King's Big Daddy Deluxe for best part of three years now. Um, I can't really fault it. Um, if I was to pick a fault with it, it would be its size and it's weight. It fits across the back seat of my car, um, but the boys will tell you that it is quite fun watching me get in the car, and you do have to make sure the door on the other side of the car is closed, otherwise it pushes everything out, 
and you do have to kind of slam the door to get it in there but it fits and I've still got some room to put some stuff on the back I don't put it on the roof because it's just gonna drag in the wind and uh, play havoc with the fuel economy and stuff like that so if I had any faults with it um, apart from that it hasn't missed a beat now the only thing that is wrong with it is this little bit of stitching in here on this weather flap is just starting to rip now that's after three years I think I have a very small hole in the bag that comes in itself and because I put keep my sleeping gear in the swag uh, I put a couple of little alligator straps around each end just to make it easier to get into the bag which it does really help so that's about the only things I can fault with that swag it is big it's got a 70 mil mattress in the bottom of it so it's comfortable there's a lot of room even with me and the wife in there there's still plenty of room um, but uh, they do get very warm in the summer I'll give you that so that's my thoughts on the Big Daddy uh, what about yours um, yeah well I started out with one of those I think it lasted two trips and one of the zips let go. Um, reason we went for that one, triple hoop, because with two people, once again, Mrs. and I go, when we go away, we take this. Um, and as you can see on that one behind Paul, the center with a two with two pole, and it's not just the king, it's probably most of them, they do droop in. So with two people in there, it gets a bit, uh, a bit claustrophobic. So it's the third pole there, same sort of thing, you know, great quality zips, heavy canvas, plenty of ventilation, um, entrance and exit both sides, so no issues with it. I've had this for, yeah, probably two or three years now. Rain, hail, shine, um, no dramas at all. So it does have a, I think it's a 60 mil mattress in it. Okay. But having said that, I also add another 100 mil self-inflating. So mine's not in sleep mode as such like Paul's he would have to straighten a few things up and it's ready to go I add the mattress I actually keep that separate because it does bulk out similar to Paul's um, to the point where it won't actually go in the bag um, so it was, I it was quite mattress. funny on the Holland track watching him and Danielle actually roll it up they, they tried it didn't you yeah with, we, with we gave it a shot we got, we're gonna give this a shot and there was yeah. There was a few harsh words at camp in the morning, I can give you the tip. <laughs> <laughs> but they got there. They yeah, got she's there. mean to me quite often. Yes, yeah, so I know. So, yeah. I know. But, yes, but, uh, yes. Um, but yeah, no, apart from that, as I said, I keep everything separate purely because the Jeep, we all know, it's pretty small. Um, my swag also goes across the back seats in the car. Well, I haven't got back seats anymore. Um, goes in the back, but I can tuck the mattress, the air mattress in somewhere. I can tuck the sleeping bag in, the little gaps and things like that. So it makes it, for me, it's easier um to split it all up um and use the small gaps whereas when we see when you see when we pack up paul wrestles this thing whereas i just quite <laughs> easily roll this up and it fits you know the bag's huge um but yeah i've never had an issue with that having said that it is about three times the price of what they charge for these um but i can't see that ever dying or then good heavy canvas and yeah nice and comfortable yeah, so just on the price i mean this is obviously your budget option uh, you can pick up the King's Big Daddy Deluxe on special. I'm not advertising King's here by any shape or form, and we are not sponsored by King's. But when it goes on special, it's only 189 bucks, and I think its maximum price is about 249 plus one of those stupid, useless free gifts that you're never ever going to use, which uh, compensates for it going back up to the full price. Yeah. Uh, how much did you say that one was? Um, I think we paid 599. And that was a okay. few years ago. I think the I think that was might be on a special. At Tent world or something like that, but you pick them up for about six hundred to six fifty. Um, so yeah, they are, as I said, three times the price. But yeah, good, good unit. Yeah, cool. matches ma matches my awning. Matches his awning. Yes, yes, yes. Here's the Dutch. I always wondered, is it Dutch or is it Dutch? A? Ah, I just call it Dutchy. You call it Dutchy? Yeah, okay. that's the Aussie slang bit. Dutchy, Dutchy, Dutchy. That'll, Dutchy. That'll, Dutchy. Do. That'll do. If anybody works at Dutchy, you can correct us if we're wrong and let us know. Okay. And we are open to sponsorship, <laughs> Pulling, swag, I do have a chair. So, without further ado, we will now, we won't reverse the film, we'll actually pack them up and show you, we won't, because we do have to get out of here, because I'm not quite sure you can camp in a pine forest, but not that I would want to. No. <laughs> Pretty sure there's some zombies and whatnot that wander around this place in the dark, but uh, never mind. We shall pack the swags up, and uh, we'll time ourselves again, and uh, see who gets there first. Okay.
There you go. So there you go, guys. You do earn a drink after you've packed that up, but oh. unfortunately, most of the time it's uh, first thing in the morning. So. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just for size comparison. So there you go. That's how big. There you go. Yeah, that's all right. They do say size doesn't matter. So there you go. Yeah. So yeah. if anybody wants to know, mine is bigger than Brad's, okay? <laughs> and check out the swag as well. Um, <laughs> so there you go. Much of a muchness putting the swags up and down. Brad's are slightly quicker than mine. Putting it back down, uh, I would say probably due to the sheer size comparison. Yeah. Uh, mine's a little bit harder to get in the bag once you get used to it, but I can tell you Those little alligator straps at the end make the world of difference because they pull the end in and that sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Never mind. I won't edit that out because <laughs> Just goes the whole time of the video. That's right. Just, uh... They Narrow the end up so that you can get it in the bag a little bit better. So uh, that's definitely a little a little hack that I would recommend to anybody so uh, as we said this is not a review and we're not telling you you should buy that over that or that over that but that is the budget option and pretty much putting up putting down an actual size of the swag comparison there's not a lot of difference but when it packs up obviously the big daddy's a bit bigger and of course I keep I've got two minus six sleeping bags a double sleeping bag in there plus two pillows and uh, I wouldn't think it would be that much difference to rolling it back up just a little bit so so that's my thoughts on the swag what were your thoughts Brad um mine's better obviously <laughs> you know, goes, goes without saying that's right um no they're pretty good as I said um you know the the, the king's one is that I've still got my old king's one my daughter's got it now um and it does her fine good budget option you know great way to start out if you're first investing in a swag or something like that you know that they, they, they do the job fine um and then you then you can upgrade as you need to so a lot of people bag the king's gear i don't have a lot of it anymore um but everyone's started somewhere so it's it's, it's not a bad not a bad thing to give it a give it a crack it doesn't empty your bank balance no. you know we don't all have thousands of dollars to go out and spend no that's spend cool. spend on gear so yeah but not bad but i'm i'm more than happy with my dachi swag and if anyone asks about swag things on facebook or whatever i'll quite happily plug that because um you know it hasn't missed a beat it's been soaking wet it's been bloody 35 degrees out in the sun, never missed a beat. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with mine as well. So yeah, For sure. So, uh, there you go. As we said, this was never a review. This was just a comparison between the two swags because uh, sharing Jeeps on our last adventure sort of made us look at mine versus Brad's and the difference in the two. And there is, there is def definitely a difference between the two. Uh, budget option, non-budget option. Obviously, the non-budget option is going to last longer than the budget option but hey if you're just starting out you need a swag i would completely recommend the kings i go the big daddy double deluxe because it's sheer size and i like a bit of room inside but uh, a lot of people go the smaller ones which are even cheaper so uh, that is about it from us uh, if you've lasted this far in the video thanks for following along with us uh, thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this video uh, thank you for supporting the channel don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already done so and we'll see you on our next adventure cheers guys cheers guys